Hey everybody, welcome into a Flyers game preview. I'm Kevin Durso. Tonight, the Flyers face the New York Rangers at 7 p.m. Before getting started, this video is brought to you as part of Flyers coverage on sportstalkphilly.com and the YWT podcast. Get all of your Flyers coverage at sportstalkphilly.com. Follow me on Twitter at Kevin underscore Durso and find more coverage for me over at 97.3 ESPN.com. And be sure to listen and subscribe to the YWT podcast. New episode just dropped this morning or last night, depending on which platform you're listening on. Nonetheless, uh, it's out now and you can listen to Kyle and I discuss a lot of different things uh, surrounding the Flyers at the moment. Let's get right into this game preview today. And, you know, the Flyers are in a rut right now and it's bad and it's causing a lot of questions about their future and their present at the moment. And there's no other way to sugarcoat that. It's a team that's not playing well. It's a team that's struggled all year in a lot of areas and kind of survived to get into a playoff spot in the early going, and now they're not in one, and they have to overcome that, and it starts with this game against the New York Rangers, and it's kind of a good thing for the Flyers that they're going to play the Rangers right now because this is a team that's behind them in the standings. It's like playing Buffalo a week ago, and I get that that game was just as much of a struggle as any of the other games they've played recently. They trailed in that game 3-1. to one. They rallied back. It wasn't pretty, but they got a win. That's kind of what you need to do right now is you need to do anything you can to build your confidence with a game that goes in the right direction. You've got two against the Rangers coming up this week. Then you have three against the Islanders who are obviously cruising right at the top of the division. But then you have more with the Rangers down the line. You have Buffalo again down the line. New Jersey's on the schedule down the line. You've got to take advantage of those games specifically that many against those three teams that are behind you right now. And it starts with this one in particular. So you know, as much as the struggles continue, as much as this team continues to lose games uh, and take themselves out of games, they shoot themselves in the foot. We talked a lot about this on the new episode of the YWT podcast. It's as much as it's not pretty right now, there's still somehow time. There's still three games left before you're at the official halfway point of the season. There's games against those teams coming up that allow you to get your head right, allow you to get your confidence up, allow you to build on something. And that's what they need to do most importantly moving forward here is they need to find a way to build some confidence and to kind of get back to their game and to clear up some of these issues and do it on their own because you can look at the possibility, and we talked about this on the show this week, the possibility that a trade could happen, a poss the possibility that somebody could come in and transform some of the defensive core or provide a spark on the offensive side or whatever you can acquire in a trade. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work instantly or going to work to that kind of effect. It's still going to take a lot of self-reflection, a lot of looking in the mirror, and a lot of building on some confidence as much as possible because it's not a pretty scene right now. It's not, you know, games are a struggle. There's a lot of turnovers that lead to goals. A lot of mistakes end up in the back of your net. A lot of mistakes that constantly happen, regardless of whether or not they're in the back of, of the net or not. Uh, they're just noticeable. And then there's a lot of trying to come back from big deficits again and trying to build back into a game, dig out of a hole that you start, whether it's 2 nothing, 3 nothing, whatever it may be, or just a two-goal lead that's later in the game. You can't keep playing like that. And it's not a recipe for success. And this team got out of that habit a year ago and stopped playing from behind, came out with an energy and an effort that worked out really well and was playing games with a different mindset. And right now they're not playing with that mindset. So they have to find a way to come back from that. And they need to find a way to be better starting with this game. And that's the only thing you can look at. We can look ahead to the games that are on the schedule that we say, oh, they're going to play Buffalo again twice down the road. They're going to play New Jersey. They're going to play the Rangers more often. We can't look any further than this one game because of the fact that that's all that's in front of you. If they lose this game, it's another continuation of the struggle, and it just pushes them further behind. It makes the Rangers one step closer to them, which could put them even further out of the playoff picture. If it's a win, they might be right back in, in the picture, just a couple of points back or something like that, and taking a step in the right direction. That's what you have to hope for and what you have to wait and see, but it's way too early to start jumping to three games against the Islanders or any games against any other team down the line. You've just got to focus on this one in particular to start with. Let's go into a couple of things. Let's start with the projected goalie matchup for the game. Carter Hart in goal for the Flyers in this game. And, you know, 
I think that there was an effort for Carter Hart to get some time off the ice and out of a game setting. And the problem with that was, is that Brian Elliott just wasn't sharp in Saturday's game and you needed to turn to Carter Hart and it was earlier than you wanted to. And he's facing shots from Ovechkin that are going to go in and he's letting in a leaky goal in the third period. That's off of a deflection. And it's unfortunate. It shows that he was not quite ready to come back, but at the same time, they really just don't have any choice. So they're stuck trying to get what they can out of Carter Hart right now and having him work through these issues in game. He's going to play and you're kind of back to where you were, where he's going to have to work through that stuff in game and see what he can do. But it's not always going to be the prettiest. He's got to build back that confidence and maybe games against the Rangers and the Sabres and things like that can help do that. Although we did see that playing a team like Buffalo just within the last week, it wasn't a good game for him and he got pulled and he sounded like he was defeated when that game was over. He sounded like his confidence was gone. So let's see if he can start building it up with just one game here and go in the right direction. He sounded more positive after the game on Saturday, even though it was a loss, his own performance, you know, allowing two goals and it kind of wasn't a close game at that point, but allowing two goals and the circumstances for which they went in, you know, I'm not talking about the fifth one necessarily or the second one he allowed that was, a long shot that was deflected and then went th that got through him. But the Ovechkin shot, it's going to happen. It's a power play and you're going to give up power play goals to one of the best goal scorers of all time. It's going to happen. And I feel like he shrugged that type of stuff off and is looking forward to a game where he gets to start from scratch, clean slate and go with zeros on the board to start with on the other side, kind of an interesting situation for the Rangers in goal. Uh, you know, Igor Sisterkin is out right now with an injury and he's closing in on returning, but, probably not ready yet. And the Rangers had Alexander Georgiev ready to go and ready to go into games. And he's been pulled from his last two starts and Keith Kincaid has gone in and performed well enough that not only has he performed well in relief in some of those games, but he won his last start and it was a shutout against the Boston Bruins. So he's playing well. They're probably going to stick in that direction. There's always a possibility it could go the other way, but that seems to be the way that the thinking is going for the Rangers right now. And we'll have to see, just where that goes and what the deal could be with their goaltending situation and how they perform because goaltending has been such a key part of the Rangers possibilities of success or their ability to win a game potentially because of the fact that you're looking at a team that has struggled to score. They've gotten a little bit better at that lately, but they still have struggled to score a lot and that's going to play a factor in who your goaltender is and who you think can give you the best shot to win a game without that many goals. And that's where they are right now. So Keith Kincaid, probably the likely guy in goal for the Rangers. Let's go to the players to watch. Uh, for the Flyers, I picked Ivan Provorov, and I picked Ivan Provorov not for anything offensively, not for anything specific other than you need guys to step up in your lineup right now and play better. And Ivan Provorov is probably a good example of one who could step up and be better because he's the guy who gets the bulk of the minutes defensively. He's the guy who's on the top pairing, and you expect the best out of him. And he's giving you the effort and he's playing the minutes and he's doing what he can, but he's still having those moments where he has rough patches within the game or just bad games in general. And you need him to start cleaning it up right away. So he's probably the first guy I look at from the defensive side, because you need him to lead by example here and be the best he can be because when he's off his game, it really feels like the defensive structure is gone. So that's kind of why it's a focal area. And I want to see if that can change and go in the right direction starting with Pro Rob, starting with tonight. On the other side, Artemi Panarin for the Rangers. And the reason I pick Artemi Panarin for the Rangers is you look at his last couple of games or the last couple of games the Rangers have played against the Flyers and the difference in two when Panarin did play in a game and they found a way to win that game because he was so successful. Panarin scored in the shootout. He had an assist in regulation. He had multiple times hitting the post and that means he's coming close to scoring. So he had a strong game and then he was out of the lineup for the next one. And the Rangers looked like a different team without him. So very clearly there's an emphasis on what he's able to do when he's in the lineup and his abilities and his presence. So I look for that to be a key factor as well as this game progresses. And especially if the Flyers struggles defensively continue and, and special teams wise and all of that, because Panarin's the type of guy who will pounce on everything like that. The special teams angle, the power play, the ability to capitalize off of a turnover. It's all going to apply. So that's something to keep an eye on as well. So that's going to do it for this Flyers game preview. Be sure to check back after the game, Kyle. 
we'll probably have a recap for you or a post game reaction for you. He's been going through a bit of a move and some different things going on. So he's been on the podcast lately, but not as many game recaps lately, but he's going to try to get back into that soon enough. So we'll see about that for later tonight. But in the meantime, you can catch up and hear from both of us on the latest episode of the YWT podcast just came out. As I mentioned at the beginning of this, just came out on Sunday night, Monday morning. So catch up with the latest as we head into this week for the flyers. You can also check me back out. I I should say I'll be back on with another game preview for you on Wednesday ahead of the next game between the Flyers and Rangers, another matchup between these two teams. And be sure to listen and subscribe, especially subscribe to the YouTube channel. That will give you notifications for the newest videos, whether it's a game preview, a game recap, or our latest episode. And you can also catch up, follow along with me during the game tonight at Kevin underscore Durso on Twitter. Game updates are over at Flyer Delphia on Twitter. And you can read my game preview and my post game recap and five takeaways following the game on sportstalkphilly.com and 973ESPN.com. So with that, enjoy the game, and we'll see you next time for the next Flyers game preview.